Hello everyone. Today I took delivery of another Macintosh 128K. This is the first one that I got in my collection sitting here on display in my living room and I have set up the second one right here temporarily on my dining room table. This is another Macintosh 128K original 1984 Macintosh computer. It has the Apple logo all by itself on the front, has the original Apple keyboard, although somebody has glued a fake panic button onto the keyboard, and it came with an 800K external drive, which is working except it won't eject the disk that's in there. So lucky for me, I put a game disk in there, and I'll have to figure out how to get that disk out probably with a screwdriver or a paper clip or something. It won't even try to eject it. The good news is, is that the primary floppy drive on the computer itself is working fine as compared to my original, my first uh, 128K Mac in the collection where they don't eject very well. On the back of the computer, we see our power switch and we have a sound out port a modem port, a printer port, external dri floppy drive port, and our mouse. It came with a modem, and it came with the carry bag right here that has the original Apple logo on it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and power this up for everyone so that we can have a look at this original 1984 Macintosh. It comes right up into MacWrite, which is on the system uh, system disk. So I'll quit out of that. And that brings us to the desktop. With our system disk in the corner, running Mac OS 4.1, and our games disk in the external floppy drive. Now I discovered something very interesting about this particular original 1984 Mac. It's not in its original configuration. When I click about the finder, I see that it has 512K of RAM. So this is an original Mac 128K case, but it has been upgraded to 512K of RAM. So it's actually a Mac 512K rather than a Mac 128K. Uh, found that to be quite interesting. So, in a roundabout way, I did end up with a 512K Mac in my collection. Um, would have liked it if it would have continued to be the, in the original 1984 configuration, but the fact that they upgraded it to 512K, not really a problem. On the system disk itself, I have my system folder, clipboard file, scrapbook file, MacWrite, Missile Command, Megaroids, Pong, and Backgammon. The same system disk or a copy of the same system disk that I was using on my other 128K Mac. And on the games disk, we have Dalek, uh, IAGO, I whatever that is, uh, Maze, Amazing, Hangman, Megaroids, Pong, Missile Command, and Backgammon. So if we look at the maze game it reads from both drives. These drives sound a lot better than the drives on my other 128K Mac. And basically with this you just followed the maze and tried to get from one side of the maze to the other. And it's really not all that difficult if you're intuitive. You should be able to see this and figure this out pretty quickly, right away. And you should be able to get through the maze without too much problem.
and voila, here we are, finished. And so that is the maze. And we look at Missile Command, which we've looked at on the 128K Mac. I'm sure it'll work just fine. And that's Missile Command. And we try to look at backgammon. I have no idea how to play backgammon. Uh, but it does have some interesting graphics. I have no idea how to play this game. You roll the dice, and I don't know if what you're supposed to move. Uh, yeah. Never played it before. have no idea what to do, but it seems to be working. We can look at Mac Write real quick. It automatically comes into Mac Write when the computer starts. But this is the original word processing software that came with the original Macintosh. So we can type on the screen. and the keyboard is working very well. I don't know how to make it talk. I know that these original Macs could speak. They, they had a speech function in them somewhere, but I have absolutely no idea where to find that on this computer. We open the control panel. It just gives me uh, date and time, cursor, and performance keyboard, mouse, desktop background, and things of that nature. I have no idea where to find the speech stuff on these old Macs. It also has a notepad as, a po as well as uh, MacWrite, and it also has a little puzzle, which I know nothing about. No, I don't want to save. 